So for the next few weeks, you'll be seeing local school superintendents right here on the Fox 8 Morning News. We've invited them all to come in and talk about the new school year. And today we have Dr. Travis Reeves. He's the superintendent of Surrey County Schools and Surrey County students are some of the first to head back to school. They begin their school year on August 8th. Dr. Reeves, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. What is going to be new for faculty, staff and students this year in Surrey County? Well, we're excited to welcome our students back. I know it's always a great time of the year. I love to see kids on the first day with their backpacks and their shoes, and they're just ready to get the school year started. Uh, we're gonna welcome students back to a safe, secure environment. Really proud this year that we can put an SRO in every single school. That's been a, been a huge initiative for our Board of Education. I wanna thank our County Commissioners and our Sheriff's Office uh, and others that have helped with this, uh, this program. So we are uh, excited to welcome our students back to a safe, secure location. Uh, we're working on safety vestibules. That's a, a construction project in the fall. Uh, we've hired an architect and we're in the process of developing that. And we're also adding a new safety loop around our largest high school at North Surrey. Thanks to the General Assembly uh, providing some additional funds, we were able to purchase some land and really help get more traffic off of Highway 89. So those are big, big items in Surrey County as we welcome kids back. And we know that takes a lot of money to make that happen. It's a priority safety for our students, for, for parents. And so you're, you're putting the money where the priority is for, for a lot of parents. Making sure that our students are fed, students who, who need it, you've made that a priority as well with a, a new change. Absolutely. I want to thank our child nutrition director, Sherry Parks, our board of education for supporting this. Our kids are going to come back and meals will be provided at no cost thanks to a USDA program and community eligibility. Uh, so we're really uh, proud of that, that we can offer kids meals at no cost. Again, thanks to Sherry Parks and our board of education. Something that you all have always done so well, you're a state leader in apprenticeship programs. <laughs> uh, the, the Surrey Yadkin Works program has always been so fantastic. What can we look forward to with that? It's just continuing to grow and, and develop such a, a strong relationship throughout our state. Well, thank you for acknowledging that. We're really proud of the work we're doing across the region. Proud of the partnership with Surrey Community College and Mount Airy City, Elkin City, Yadkin County Schools. Uh, this wouldn't be possible without funding from our county commissioners, both in Surrey County and Yakin County. Uh, yesterday, we were able to celebrate three new teacher pre-apprentices. Uh, they were the first to come through our program. Uh, so we're really proud of those three young ladies, Abigail, Meredith, and Lakin. They will be heading off to their four-year university, but they, they got their two-year teacher aid pre-apprenticeship at Surrey Community, no cost, tuition free, and now they're moving on. And the neat thing about it is during that two years, they've been able to tutor for us. They've been able to substitute teach for us. So they've been getting experience inside our schools, getting to know our teachers, our principals, and really kind of understanding the school culture so that when they step into the role of a teacher, they're gonna be really well prepared. And so that helps us create um, loyalty mm -hmm. in employees, it helps us build the bench. It helps us continue to uh, provide great teachers right here at home in Surrey County. And we know that we have to continue to grow our own because it's a very competitive marketplace and uh, we want to make sure that we have the best in our classrooms. Well, congratulations to them and to you as well for the incredible work you're doing for our students. Thank you so much and best of luck as you begin the new school year. Thank you. Thank you. Students are heading back to class very soon. Guilford County just released its open house schedule. Parents, here are the dates you need to take note of. Open house for high schools is August 20th. Middle school open houses happening the next day, August 21st. Elementary schools the following day, August 22nd. First day of school for students on the traditional calendar is August 26th in Guilford County. Winston-Salem for Science County Schools. Teachers get some free classroom supplies this weekend. The Educator Warehouse on Hutton Street behind Diggs Latham Elementary opened yesterday for new teachers. Today and tomorrow, all teachers are welcome to stop by. It's open 9 in the morning till 8 at night, then 9 to 3 tomorrow. Reminder, you do need to register, though, and get on the list. Just go to teachersfreestore.com slash Winston. Now, the first day of school for Winston Center for Scythe County, a little over a week away. That begins on August the 12th. You know, students all across the community need help. They need those school supplies, and you can help by donating to Fox 8 Stuff, the bus, 
Today and tomorrow, your last chance is to donate. Today, lots of the Fox 8 family and the Salvation Army will be at the Walmart on South Graham Hopedale Road in Burlington. Stop by any time until 7 o'clock tonight. We could certainly use your help. Tomorrow night, join us for Fox 8 Family Night at the races. Boma Gray Stadium in Winston-Salem will be there collecting supplies. You'll be enjoying a great night of racing. Gates open at 6, first race at 8. And we want to say thank you to everybody who's donated. And we still have a bus to fill up, so 